Hi, my name is Dr. Mariam Zamani, and I'm an oculoplastic surgeon with a special interest in facial aesthetics, and I'm also the founder of MZ Skin. I've been invited here today by the NED to talk to you about vitamin D deficiency and what it means for COVID-19 as well as the quarantine. So basically between 50 to 90% of the vitamin D produced in our bodies, it comes from the sunshine. There is an interaction between the skin and the UV radiation to produce uh, this vitamin. And that is why in the UK, most uh, people here are vitamin deficient. So what does it mean to be vitamin deficient? So normally a blood volume level of 30 nanograms per milliliter is what, and over is what's considered to be normal. Insufficient is 20 to 29, uh, and a deficiency is anything less than 20. I would say a large majority of the population here has not enough sun exposure to develop or produce that amount of vitamin D they need without some form of supplementation. The rest of it is made up in the form of nutrition. There are two types of D3, vitamin D. There's D3, which basically comes uh, from animal protein, as well as uh, what we produce ourselves from the sunshine. And then there's D2, which is basically a vitamin that mainly comes from plants. So um, you get more efficacious uh, vitamin D production with vitamin D3 than you do with vitamin D2, just as a caveat. You also get it through different sources, most of which are um, animal, uh, so based. So that means milk, eggs, meat, um, you can also get it in some seeds, uh, you can get it in uh, nuts, uh, but for the most part, a lot of it milk, you know, milk, animal protein type of situations. And that's why sometimes vegans have a harder time in having a good amount of vitamin D, particularly in areas that are not um, with a lot of sunshine. Now, what does this mean? So in order to absorb the vitamin D, you cannot be wearing protective uh, clothing and you cannot be wearing SPF. So you need about 40% of your body exposed to the sunshine for anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. Now that doesn't sound like a long time, but you can actually burn in that amount of time. As a, and as somebody who has a skincare brand, I would always say you really need to protect your skin against uh, UV damage because sometimes uh, you can develop a skin cancer based on that UV radiation. So there is a fine balance between sitting out in the sun and also protecting your skin simultaneously. If you do want to get as much as uh, you can in your vitamin D through sun exposure, I recommend uh, doing the limbs, uh, you know, uh, for about 15, 20 minutes in very early sunlight or uh, late afternoon. Please do not do it during peak hours. And if you are not uh, able to get all of this through the sunshine, you can obviously supplement it with diet, but oftentimes we need to supplement this with vitamins. And what is the amount of vitamins that you need to take? So uh, there are lots of different inconsistent studies on this, but I would recommend taking anywhere between 600 uh, to 800 international units daily with a maximum that I've read so far is about 4,000. I would not do that unless you were under the guidance of a doctor. I would stick to the recommended daily dosage uh, that have been recommended at this time. Uh, we know that vitamin D is used in the body for a number of advantageous reasons, and one of them is for immunity. For some reason, this causes some sort of protection within our lungs and uh, makes us less likely to suffer from respiratory infections, which is why there's so much interest in vitamin D right now, especially with COVID, which does attack our lung tissue. Those that have a normal uh, amount of vitamin D within their system are more likely not to have as aggressive uh, symptoms with respiratory illness and are less likely to even get potentially sick. So that is something that uh, not to be taken lightly and something that's important particularly now. It also helps boost immune system. So it can be used in inflammatory conditions. Uh, those that they're also infectious conditions like TB. Um, people who have a normal amount of vitamin D also fare better when they are fighting different sorts of cancers uh, and autoimmune diseases, as uh, well as some, you know, uh, mental, you know, dysfunction as well. So I think it's really important to note that vitamin D, though we it's not very much talked about, it has a lot of different things. It helps regulate 
and especially right now in the time of COVID-19, I would recommend uh, uptaking your daily intake of vitamin D to the recommended dose between six and 800. Younger people generally uh, less and older individuals 70 plus should be on the 800 uh, uh, international units daily. I will also say that if you're somebody who has an ethnicity with darker skin types and you do want to sit out in the sun, you will have to sit out in the sun for much longer because that melanin uh, prevents the uptake uh, of the UV rays into the skin and therefore you will produce less uh, vitamin D. And last but not least, everything that you do, take it with a little caveat, discuss it with your doctor. If you're taking lots of different medications, if you have different comorbid conditions, you know, one, uh, one shoe does not fit all and uh, you can supplement your vitamin D intake with different roots. So that's what I recommend. I hope that's helpful for you. And I hope to see you healthy and safe on the other side of COVID.